match. And congratulations again to the now five-time champion, San Antonio Spurs. So this year, on Father's Day, Game 5 was about more than just a championship. It was about family. Instead of sending you home tomorrow, okay. I get to go home with you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yay, Spurs. When people ask me, are you worried or are you scared? I've never really been really worried because he's always told me, he's always had the most confidence ever, and he's always told me that he's going to get through it and that we're going to get through it together. She knows what I'm going through. And if I can work hard, it's not just being the best, it's working hard. It's her knowing that I'm, that I'm working hard for this. I want her to take that with her. Back at Johns Hopkins, Stewart finally receives word about the clinical trial. Good enough. Everything is a go. Yeah. So here we go, clinical study. Thank you. You're welcome. Your I don't want you to leave. Will you hold my hand? Fighting is winning. Not quitting. Not saying, oh, I have cancer. Or I can't do anything. I'm just going to lay down and, and cry a pity party for myself. That, to me, is the only way you lose. Oh, won't you stay with me? Because you're fighting it for seven years, so that sucks. You've had to deal with it for seven years. But I've been fighting it for seven years, so that's good. Seven years, you've, you've battled it. And if, if losing the battle is passing away, then I guess I haven't lost the battle. But darling, stay with me. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my profound honor to present the 2014 Jimmy V Perseverance Award to Stuart Scott. Thank you. You know, tomorrow all my boys are going to be like, yo, man, I saw you at the SVs with Peyton Manning, Money Mayweather, and KD. I'm going to be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Jack Bauer saved the world, and he introduced me. <laughs> 24 is my favorite TV show of all time, so Kiefer Sutherland, thank you very much. I am very honored. Every day I am reminded that our life's journey is really about the people who touch us. When I first heard that I was going to be honored with this reward, the very first thing that I did was I was speechless, briefly. I've presented this award before. I mean, I've watched in awe as Kay Yao and Eric Legrand and all these other great people grace this stage. And although intellectually I get it, I'm a public figure, I have a public job, I'm battling cancer, hopefully I'm inspiring. At my gut level, I really didn't think that I belonged with those great people. But I listened to what Jim Balvano said 21 years ago. The most poignant seven words ever uttered in any speech anywhere. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Those great people didn't. Coach Balvano didn't. So to be honored with this, I now have a responsibility to also not ever give up. I'm not special. I just listen to what the man said. I listen to all that he said, everything that he asked of us, and that's to build the V Foundation. And let me tell you, man, it works. I'm talking tangible benefits. You saw me in that clinical trial. Now, here's the thing about that. Coach Valvano's words 21 years ago, helping me and thousands of people like me right now, direct benefits. That's why all of this, why we're here tonight, that's why it's so important. 
I also realized something else recently. You heard me kind of allude to it in the piece. I said, I'm not losing. I'm still here. I'm fighting. I'm not losing. But I got to amend that. 